All right. So, yeah, um, we were able to implement, as you can see here, we'll, this is, a, before we close, this is a chat where you can, you know, you can do files and you could, you could do that. You could zap somebody over here and here. Boom. Mapping. There you go. So, yeah, what we did was we added here, we added Discord to Wix. And um, you can go to Discord. But here we have the chat now in here. And you got all these rooms here that you could use while you're in here. And so that zap, that Slack, that thing keeps popping up. Weird. Oh, that was a while ago. All right. These are the recent posts. Uh, so, yeah, we can see here now that we can chat right in the website and it you know nice little thing here let's go up here so again when you come onto the site now you're going to see pictures are all lined up now with our events which is kind of cool i got to make them a little longer so they don't Yeah, I can fix the timing on them so there'll be a little bit more Bible blast. Then you come down here and you see the events. And they can RSVP, which is cool. Let us know they're coming. Get ready to be blasted into these events. So this is like a show that we're going to do this summer. Just getting spiritually fit. Thursday night Bible study. And then any other things, we'll add them here. And this will be like a category list. And this way people can click on and they can find out more about the event. All these events, I'm just putting them at, as Discord on Discord to our channel. And if they're, you know, if they're on, you know, on another site or whatever, they can, um, they can text me and I can give them the information for where else these, like on Sunday night where we're streaming and all of that. So I got for more chat features, including audio, video chat, giphys, and more. Go to our Discord channel. I'm I'm contented right now just to use Discord for all of our chat, you know, our streaming, our direct messaging. I mean, it works, and we can everybody that you know wants to be a part of what we're doing, they can just join us here in Jesus Connect, and you know. I mean, they're, you know, again, Sunday night, we're going to be streaming on YouTube Live. That's different. But for all other chat, you know, and even on here, you can chat on here. So if they wanted to chat in here on the website or if they want to chat, you know, and have a lot of people, like I said, are already on Discord. So it won't be a real stretch for them to come in here and chat. Yeah, I've looked at about everything, and I've been going back and forth, and and I think we're the the I think the best thing we can do for now is just use this, and everybody that if you haven't joined it yet, you can join this site as become a member, and then once you join it, I can make you an admin, and I can also yeah make you an admin. Um, you can follow people, you can't add people, but you can follow them and whatnot. It's the same thing, basically. But, you know, again, that's just on here. We, we have the other, you know, functionality on Discord. And we're, I kind of like that idea. It's dawning on me a little bit because I think, well, other sites are doing it. So it must be good. You know, <laughs> we're not the only ones thinking about it. <laughs> blasting <laughs> so what do you guys think of that so far looks pretty good right i mean it's coming together 
everything is focusing on the events, which is what we talked about doing. Making the events the focal point. And that way you're always drawing people to something instead of just kind of randomly doing things off the cuff. And by bringing everybody together in the website, it kind of puts every, everything into like a group, which is what we want to do. And then once they're in the website, it's not a stretch. Well, the domain, you can get to it now with uh, christianapp.live. Just, I uh, redirected it. So it's still christianapp.live. And you can get in here and, yeah. But, you know, I mean, basically, I like the way that I set it up so that we're, we're, we're putting the emphasis on, you know, our communication being on Discord. And then, of course, on the website, you have the forums and the blogs and the content, which is what I'm really excited about because I'm ready to go, man. I've been doing, trying to build a site and trying to do all this stuff, and I'm not doing what I really, really feel like I want to do, and that's to minister, to preach, teach, and get the word out, you know, to the, to the power of God. And so now with this platform being pretty much, you know, it's just now it's just, uh, you know, getting it content on it and filling it out. You know, one of the things that, you know, you don't, we could, you know, emphasize, you know, Wix spaces. If you're on mobile, you're going to get a, a, a prompt to get Wix spaces and you can get that if you want. We have a Wix Spaces site. I don't, you know, recommend, you know, us, you know, confusing people. You can just use Chrome or Safari or whatever, and it works just fine because uh, actually Wix has a mobile editor, so you can edit it. And I may have to go back in now that I've made changes and re-edit it. So if you're seeing something weird on the mobile, it's not finished yet. I got to go in and make sure that all the screens line up again. And whenever you edit in the website, then you got to go back and re-edit it on the mobile site. But thank God, you know, they have it. Yeah, I know, right? Um, I'm not sure if it's able to be done or not. I tried to do it and it was like, that seems to be like, the parameters that it gives me. However, it might be something in the code we could change. Another thing I wanted to mention while we're on it, there is in that tutorial a way to do Giphy files with this chat. If you guys want to look into that and see if you could, you know, figure out the code for it and we'll add it to it. Yeah, there's there's a whole section on Giphy files. And if we can do Giphy files, we'd be like, that'd be, now, obviously a video and audio chat would be unreal, but I'm not expecting for that. But I think we can use, you know, go into that widget and see how to do the uh, Giphy files. I mean, not that it's, at the end of the day, they can click on it and go to our server. And that will be one of the things that we'll do is people join. We'll emphasize going to Discord for like more for direct messaging and all of that. Because, yeah, our website, we can do that, but it's not going to be as good as Discord. With Discord, you can actually audio and video and private messages and direct messages and stuff. So we'll, we'll just work that into the whole thing, you know, as we go along. We got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of emails to start sending out. Next week, I want to get um, on Feedspot and just go and start getting our content out and getting people. We've waited long enough. I'm not going to sit here and the rest of, you know, eternity trying to figure out the best platform, right? I mean, there isn't the best platform out there. There's just whatever works for us. 
And this one here works because number one, we said that we were probably going to have to customize our own site. And we did. It's not too bad. I mean, we're going to make it better as we go along and all of that. Um, you know, but I don't mind using Discord. I think at first I was a little reluctant. I would like to get two or three helpers on here, people that want to, you know, help. And we need to get Andy going. He wants to learn. And I think if we could teach him the basics of, you know, bots and things, I think he would run with it and he would, it would give him something to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, we have a good thing that we're starting, we're starting to see happen and that we're starting to see people. Uh, we had a really good night Sunday. Uh, the service was, in my opinion, was just blessed. The Lord was good to us on Sunday night. There was a real good uh, presence of the Lord there. And we had, I don't know how many people we had. We had a few on um, Wire Club, and I think we had um, some on Facebook. doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. It's kind of, I think on Facebook, you got to kind of, again, you know, you have to spend the time to make it worth a while. You know, people aren't randomly coming in. Nine o'clock is a weird time up here in the north and the eastern time. A lot of people are winding down from the weekend. They're going to bed or they're getting, you know. I think if we did the services earlier, we'd get more people. But that's conflicting with other, other things and other people's, you know, agendas. So it doesn't work out. Ideally, we should probably do the service about 6 p.m., I think we would get more people. Nine o'clock is a tough. Uh, that's a. It's not you know the one thing we I, I thought about doing going forward and, and we may do it is we may do two services back to back. Now I could do the first service live at six or whatever, and then I could just take the the copy of that and re air it at nine. And kind of like how churches do two services. And that way, we're hitting more people. Because Sunday nights, I mean, we've seen more evidence of growth just from the standpoint of what we're doing in that short amount of time already. I mean, the problem is we're not, we have to do follow-up. And this is where we've needed the website. Because without the website, you can't do the follow-up. So you're kind of like those people, even though we're reaching them, we're not keeping them. And that's the part that we need to fix. So that's why I'm pushing to move this forward starting today. And I this is weird. It looks like. <laughs> from just that one, it looks like I had tattoos all up and down my arm. I'm like, wait a minute, I don't have tattoos on my arm. That's just the way that background looks. Oh, did you? Great. I saw that you came in. I, I was I meant to tell you I appreciated that because uh, we had Will Girl there who is uh, Goldie's friend. She's from Australia too, and she was she seemed to be really enjoying it. And then there's a, a, other people that came in. I I really think that um, it, you know the key was I got a hold of World Girl ahead of time and I told her we were having it and then I think she went and invited some people and that's kind of what's happening on wire it's kind of spontaneous and Mazzello was a dead duck um, but that's okay it, it, that'll happen sometimes we might want to try broadcasting it to the uh, everybody and see if we get more people that way but to be honest with you we've been just so focused on trying to find a, a website that we haven't really fully taken advantage of of the streaming and all of that but now that we have 
things are starting to come together. This website, we got to make sure that one of the things that we need to test out, and if you guys can let me know if you haven't joined it yet, when you join it, just give me an idea of how easy it was to join. I, I really think you can you can probably join it with Facebook or Google or your email because I think Wix automatically includes that. And then once you join, the, you you kind of enter into the forums, and the forum is the kind of the membership part of the community, part of the site. I had two conversations today on Discord that was because it was in the website and I was able to see the conversation. So it's working. It's working. Had I not, I probably wouldn't have seen them. One of them was a guy from Ghana who says he's a Christian worker and he was showing me all these pictures of children and he wants me to donate. And I'm like, I'm not donating money. Anybody can put pictures up. That doesn't mean a darn thing. I would have to know the person, the ministry, before I would give a dime to anyone. Number two, we don't have money to give people. We don't even have money to give ourselves. And I'm not saying that I wouldn't help somebody else. But what I'm saying is, I know this is the same guy. He keeps changing his screen name and he keeps coming after me. And he's always coming out with real flowery words and real Christian words. And he may very well be a Christian. He may very well be genuine. I don't know that. I have no way of checking this guy out. So that was kind of a waste. But the other guy's name is Emmanuel. And he, we had a pretty good start to a conversation. But now that it's on the website, you see, that's the, that's the beauty of it. I'm seeing those general conversations. And that means interaction. And just imagine if people come on the website and they're like, oh, wow. I can chat on Discord in here. Oh, wow, I have a Discord account, you know, whatever. So it's going to increase our, it's going to increase our, our it's going to make, make Discord better. We just need to get a couple more um, bots going that will help us. Um, I asked Emmanuel, the guy, I said, how did you hear about us? He said, Google. And I'm like, okay. I don't really know how he found us on Google, but. He didn't seem to be scamming me in any way. He didn't ask for anything, and he wasn't in any way um, weird. So I'm thinking he's genuine. But look, if we're not relying on random every now and then somebody joining us. That's not at all what the plan is. The plan is is to go forwards with Feedspot. Um, if I could show you my emails, which I don't really think I can, you would see that every day I get a notice from Feedspot in my email that says, these are the posts that we, we've picked out for you today. And they're suggested, like, you know how YouTube suggests videos? Well, it's the same principle, but they're articles. Okay, you signed up by email. How was it? Uh, was it easy? Any problems or anything? Because that's the only thing I could think of that would might be uh, something we'd have to test out. And so, yeah, once... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you're right. And I meant, actually, I meant to move that to the top of the page, which would make more sense. I have to figure out how to do it because um, it may or may not show up in the um, editing. It may be something that I'm going to have to uh, research on how it's, it's simple as that sounds. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. It makes it a little difficult, and that is a problem. And I, I've even thought of that myself. So, yeah, that's something we have to figure out. There's got to be a way to move it. We'll figure it out. But, yeah, we can get that moved, and then people should be able to log in. And I think it pretty much does keep you logged in, though, quite a bit. 
um, it did me anyway for weeks and weeks. I, I didn't have to log back in, but it, I guess it just depends on if you're, if you're editing something and you're coming in and out. Super easy. Okay, good. Good to hear that. Good to hear that. Now, you know, the, this site will notify you um, by e your email um, that you have a message or that somebody said something or, you know, maybe a comment or something. You do get notifications on here. But that's why I think we need to really push uh, Discord because Discord has much better notifications. And for people that want to keep up with us, I want to turn our Discord server into, I want to, now that we've got Discord on the website, we need to get the website on Discord. We need to get some kind of a way. Isn't there a way with Zapier? I think there is. We, there's a Zapier and a Wix. Um, so when somebody, yeah, that's right. When somebody posts in the forums, it notifies Discord, and then they click on it and they go to the website. That's exactly. Uh, I got to remember how to, I got to go back into Zapier and zap it up. <laughs> Zapier. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. So once we get that, so then you know we got to sort of maybe use the website i mean use discord to kind of highlight the website so that people when they're on the website and they come to discord they're seeing some familiar things like oh yeah that's the forum thing on the website or whatever you know what i mean so it's not like oh they're going to some strange foreign site that has nothing to do with the website that would not we don't want to send them to an island and isolate them yeah they have to it has to be a bridge between the two of them and I mean, we don't have to change everything. And then Jesus Connect is fine. We don't have to change the name or anything like that. We just need to maybe make a channel for the website or something and keep updates in there. And that way they can kind of see it or whatever. But so, you know, as far as that goes, you know, I, I went back and forth. I even thought about Lark again. <laughs> I, I went on there and I went on in my... Um, iPad and I was able to there was a thing I clicked and I was able to it split my screen and I was able to video chat and also Giphy chat in the same frame which was cool but ultimately at the end of the day I thought you know what it would be redundant to use Lark and Discord at the same time since they're very similar apps it wouldn't make any sense but what does make sense is to use the website because it's totally different than discord it has our content which is what we're all about i got so many things that i want to put out there and push out and i'm going to use some tools to do it our notifications and stuff that we're going to use for events are going to be done through uh, i have to choose which one but it's going to be a a, a system that does it automatically you input the information, tell it where you want it sent, how many times a day or how many times a week or whatever. And it by algorithm, it just does it. Al Gore rhythm. You know, he created the what the internet, he said. Al Gore, Al Gore rhythm. <laughs> I wonder if he created Al Gore rhythms. <laughs> Oh, man, I swear, that is the dumbest joke. And I thought of it. So I have no one to blame but myself. You guys might be too young to remember Al Gore. But he ran for president in 2000 with against George Bush. And it was a it was so close that they had to recount the votes and they had, um, it went through the Supreme court and everything. And they kept finding these, they called them hanging chads. They were like where the ballot was 
it was clipped, but there was a little chad or a little, you know, part of the, uh, where it was cut out, it was hanging. And Al Gore goes, we got to wait till every vote is counted. Every vote must be counted. <laughs> and he used to say that all the time. And I, I used to imitate him because I could do a good Al Gore. And you know, I created the internet. That sounds like Forrest Gump. My Forrest Gump and Al Gore, <laughs> they're kind of close together. But if, but if you listen to Forrest Gump, he kind of sounds like Al Gore. I'm not a very bright man. <laughs> Remember that? Janie. Hey. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> now I've seen everything. <laughs> oh man oh <laughs> that, that might be the giphy of the year so far we gotta give that give it up that was a good one congratulations you win the contest you win like like what was that movie uh charlie and the chocolate factory where he goes you win nothing nothing <laughs> remember that you win nothing. Uh, you lose. That was a good movie. Yep. Anyway, so now that we've got the platform going forwards, we just need to start. I mean, you know, probably we should wait. We should wait at least a week before we start inviting people. Make sure we don't have any, you know flare-ups or I don't foresee anything with this because there's no really video or audio chat or anything like that to mess up so it's just basically content I don't think we're gonna have issues but we need to start getting those people to join us in here and and join us on the website so that we can have you know a, at least be able to use mind control over them and keep them <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> like a cold or something it's fine everything is fine uh... no we just need to have a net where everybody's stuck in it and they can't leave <laughs> oh man all right so we, we pretty much know what we're doing with this. Um, there's a forum. And this is probably either, yeah, we'll probably use this for feed spot. You know, you can send out. <clears throat> we'll probably delete this one. Questions and answers is a general discussion. That's a forum, believe it or not. That is a forum. You can comment on it. Look at all this you can do. You can do a Giphy. Uh, so, yeah, there's cool stuff on here. There's a blog for, like, our... Updates, news, anything regarding our sites, you know, we'll be sharing that stuff. Any topics that we want to share. Members, you can see the members. There's Caleb. We're going to follow him. See what he's doing. Bugs Bunny. Our only real, well, we reached one person. That's saying something. I got to talk to her on Wire Club and let her know that we've got, I don't know, maybe she's not getting notifications. There is something that you can use. It's called Web Pusher. Not Drug Pusher, but Web Pusher. And I have it, actually. It's a great little thing. You can add a code to your site, and it automatically um, pops up, and it says, do you want notifications? And if you click yes, you get them on your phone. It hits your mobile and it also hits your website, so you can get notifications and you can you can tell it it when it when it adapts to your site it it knows what output 
links you have, like it would show the forum or the blog or whatever, or the chat. And it would say, you know, do you want this, that, how many of these items do you want to, to pop up in people's notifications? Well, at any rate, it's a line of code. It takes like three seconds and we can have that on the site. I think it would be worth it because let's just say somebody doesn't join discord right away. They're not going to know what's going on. I don't know how much of I really don't know how much of the notifications that would be something I'd want to test out that we are getting already. Um, you know, if somebody follows me, are they getting, am I getting a notification? Is it texting me? Is it telling me anything? If somebody joins the site, I should get notified. Yeah, I'm not getting any notifications from it. So, now, if you are on Wix Spaces, you get push notifications. But it's a different site. It's the same site. I mean, it actually has our blog and forum on there, but that's about it. It won't have the Discord and all that, but it does work for notifications. And like I said, if you're on a phone, you, it'll tell you to get it. And if you want to get it, go ahead and get it. At least you'll get push notifications. Um, but I didn't want to push it because I don't want to confuse people. But what I'll do is I'll add those web and mobile notification things. That's free, too, by the way. It's free. And it works. It's pretty darn cool. And that way, you know, people will get notifications and you know, they'll know when we're, you know, live and so on and when they're getting met. Because a lot that's the only thing that will remind people to come back to the website. Otherwise, you might as well not even have it. If you don't have notifications. In this day and age, you're pretty much done. The only reason I... See, that was one of the things that I thought about. I was doing a lot of thinking over the last few days. And I was watching a lot of different things. And... One of the things I saw a commercial and it was all about, you know, people were texting each other. And, and I think about that. How many people rely on texting for everything now, you know, and notifications for everything now. And if you don't have that and you're trying to have a website or you're trying to have a, a, a anything online, forget it. If you don't have that, forget it. So, I mean, we do on Discord. But we're, we're hoping and then depending on people joining Discord, which if we can get them on the website, that might be a stretch and a jump. And then on top of that, they, another hoop they got to go through. So I thought about that. That was one of the deciding factors was, okay, if we go with Lark, we have notifications. We have everything. We have the video. We have the audio. People are getting push notifications if they get if they get the mobile app, if they don't get the mobile app, I think there's still notification. I mean, you think about all this stuff. But what ultimately made me decide to come back over here is because we have Discord on the website. So they can join it right from the website. No problem. Easy. And we're going to be on the website. We're going to be encouraging them to do it. So it's not like a stretch for them to join Discord. Like I said, some people, a lot of people already have joined Discord. I mean, you'd be surprised how many people are already on it um, and so on. So I guess at the end of the day, the notifications, we can get that on here. And then that would pretty much, I think, round this site off nicely. And then... Down here, you can connect. Wait. What's going on? Oh, I like this, too. I like the way this looks. So we get the, uh, the zapped message, and we people understand that they're going to get notified of, of events. Um, I did add that one room for occasionally we might do an event in there, but we would probably end up not using it. It would just be confusing, and we want to keep everything on Discord right now, I think, pretty much. 
log in to view. See, this, this app is working really good. But Oh, there we go. Connect. Caleb, <laughs> what is that picture you got there, bro? That is cool. So you can connect with these people and chat with them and, and so on. So that's good. Now, I don't know if you get a chat notification. I mean, I would think it would hit your phone through the text. Actually, I need to look at the notifications in the system and see if they're even on and see what it's actually you know, doing, because that would be a good thing to know. But I don't think it hurts to add Web Pusher because it is something that will guarantee people will get notifications. So anyway, all right, well, that's enough about that. I think we pretty much see how this is, uh, how it works, how it operates. It's pretty simple stuff. Looks pretty good. Um, yeah, that's pretty much enough of that for that for now. Um, <laughs> those are what, what are those? That is an amazing looking creature. Oh, a coca, a coca. Looks like looks like a, looks like a fake like a toy like a stuffed animal. Well, 